Medical breakthroughs can take years, even decades. It's why researchers need constant funding. Raising money is a big part of the nation's largest brain tumor conference happening this week in Rosemont. CBS 2's Lauren Victory visits with two of the more than 1,000 patients and caregivers planning to attend. Go ahead and hang upside down. Former gymnast Bree Salzman found a twist on tumbling through aerial fitness. She needed a workout with lower impact after her life took a turn. I started with a migraine on a Monday uh, that progressed into vision issues. I went into the ER and was in surgery by that Friday. Bree's MRI shows a white squiggly mass on the left side of her head. That's a brain tumor. It was about that big, maybe a little bit smaller than a golf ball. As much of it as possible was removed in 2017. Put two sticks in where my fingers are, where they cross, that's where my brain tumor is. She keeps her head shaved and scar visible as a conversation starter and uplifts other patients as a mentor, sharing her own recovery struggles. I knew what I wanted to say. The thoughts were there, but I was having a hard time articulating them. From raising awareness to raising money, this Northwestern Medicine research team is constantly looking for tumor treatments, and funding is a factor. You just need somebody to give you a chance. This lab is under the leadership of neuropathologist uh, Dr. Craig Horbinski, who says early in his career, Medicine grant money was hard to come by. And if I didn't get that pro proposal funded in 2008, I was going to quit science altogether. Then money from the American Brain Tumor Association came through. The nonprofit that's celebrating 50 years has doled out $34 million to budding researchers. Horbinski says the results of work paid for by that first grant led to more funding. Now, scientists under his watch are studying how to shrink tumors, especially fast-growing, deadly glioblastomas. We really have not seen substantial improvements in outcomes over the last 30 years. We got the tumor here. Not all tumors are cancerous. Bree's brain was growing a different type of mass. They come in more than 100 different forms. What's the biggest thing you've learned about brain tumors being a survivor? <laughs> The number one thing is that they're more common than I realized. About 800 kids and adults are diagnosed with brain tumors every day. I was really, really fortunate to have the outcome that I've had. The hope is to continue funding research so every patient can bounce back. Breathe. <sighs> like breathe. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Dr. Horbinski will talk more about his research, and Brie will share more of her story at the American Brain Tumor Association conference happening Friday and Saturday in Rosemont.